Right, guys, we ran out of time while I was doing this question here, so I'll start this one again. Um, UPAC rule is simple enough. Thanamine, bronsidlary acids. Uh, water is donating the proton to A, so water is the acid on the left. And this ion here is donating the proton in the reverse reaction, so there are your two acids. Uh, if you add hydrochloric acid, the acid will join with the OH minus ions and form water. Removing these ions from the equilibrium will force the equilibrium to move in the forward direction to replace those ions, Le Chatelier, and therefore the concentration of compound A would decrease. To look at the pH, we are going to put this concentration over this concentration, divide by that concentration. You can leave out the water. That will be the Kb expression, which you are given down here. So effectively, if we allow the dissociation to be x, you're going to get 2 minus x on the left, x and x on the right, and therefore Kb would equal x squared over 2 minus x. 2 minus x can be simplified to 2 because x is tiny for the weak base. And then you have x squared over 2 equals that. And x then works out to be 0 0.0335. That is the hydroxide ion concentration. If you negative log that, you will get the pOH. That will give you a value of 1.5. And then subtract that from 14 to give the pH 12.5. How compound A could be made from bromoethane? To make an amine from a haloalkane, you would have to go through the nitrile phase. So the first thing you would do is react bromoethane with KCN. Reflux is a means for prolonging the boiling, and that allows the halogen, the bromine atom, to be replaced by the CN in a substitution reaction. The nitrile has a carbon-nitrogen triple bond. And if you add hydrogen to that in the presence of a nickel catalyst, then the reduction or addition reaction will produce the amine. Make sure you know your organic pathways. Oh, again, I, I almost finished, but not quite. Hope that helps you guys, and good luck with your externals.